Let's face it, building custom business apps can be time-consuming and daunting task. Not everyone has the technical know-how or resources to develop apps from scratch. That's where AWS Honeycode comes in. Hello everyone and welcome to this video on AWS Honeycode by IntelliPath. Honeycode is a new platform that is taking the app development world by a storm. It is a no-code app development platform that allows businesses to create custom apps without writing a single line of a code. The platform is designed to be user-friendly and intuitive, making app development accessible to everyone, even those without technical expertise. So whether you're a small business owner or an enterprise, Honeycode can help you build custom apps that meet your specific needs. With Honeycode, you can focus on what really matters, growing your business while leaving the app development to the next experts. Let's take a look at the agenda for this video. First, we'll take a look at the introduction to AWS Honeycode. Second, we'll talk about the benefits of AWS Honeycode. Third, we'll explore the use cases for AWS Honeycode. Next, we'll dive into data modeling in Honeycode. Following that, we'll discuss user interface design in Honeycode. Afterwards, we'll cover app security best practices. Then, we'll compare AWS Honeycode with other app development platforms. Finally, we'll conclude with our conclusion. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. So let us begin with introduction to AWS Honeycode. AWS Honeycode is a fully managed service by Amazon Web Services that allows developers to build custom web and mobile applications without writing any code. It enables teams to create and manage interactive apps for tasks such as project management, customer relationship management, inventory tracking, and more. With Honeycode, users can easily build custom web and mobile apps that can integrate with other AWS services such as AWS DynamoDB, AWS Lambda, and S3. The platform features a drag-and-drop interface for creating data models using interfaces and business logic. Honeycode apps can also be shared with team members or external users through a URL or by inviting them to join the app. Additionally, Honeycode offers a variety of built-in templates and data models to help users get started quickly. Now let's look at the benefits of AWS Honeycode. AWS Honeycode offers several benefits to businesses and developers looking to build custom web and mobile applications. Some of these benefits include No coding required One of the biggest benefits of Honeycode is that it requires no coding knowledge to build an app. The drag-and-drop interface and pre-built templates make it easy for anyone to create a custom app without having to hire developers. Next is speed of development. With Honeycode, developers can create custom apps quickly and easily. This can help businesses stay competitive and respond to changing market demands more quickly. Third is scalability. Honeycode is a fully managed service that can grow and adapt to meet the changing needs of a business. As a result, Businesses can focus on their core operations without having to worry about scaling their app infrastructure. Next is integration with other AWS services. Honeycode integrates seamlessly with other AWS services such as DynamoDB, Lambda, and S3. This allows developers to create more complex apps that can leverage the power of other AWS services. And finally, it is cost-effective. Because Honeycode requires no coding knowledge, Businesses can save money on hiring developers or buying expensive software licenses. Additionally, Honeycode pricing is based on usage, meaning that businesses only pay for what they use. Now we'll look at some of the use cases of AWS Honeycode. Starting with project management, Honeycode can be used to create custom project management apps that track tasks, deadlines, and milestones. This can help businesses stay organized and ensure that projects are completed on time. Next is Customer Relationship Management. Honeycode can be used to build custom CRM apps that track customer interactions, sales leads, and marketing campaigns. This can help businesses manage their customer relationships more effectively and improve their sales and marketing efforts. Next on the list is Inventory Tracking. Honeycode can be used to create custom inventory tracking apps that monitor stock levels, track shipments, and manage purchase orders. This can help businesses stay on top of their inventory and reduce stockouts or overstocks. Next is Employee Management. Honeycode can be used to build custom employee management apps that track employee schedules, attendance, and performance. This can help businesses 
manage their workforce more effectively and ensure that employees are meeting their goals. And finally, data collection and reporting. Honeycode can be used to create custom data collection and reporting apps that gather data from multiple sources and generate reports. This can help businesses make data-driven decisions and improve their overall performance. Now we look at data modeling in AWS Honeycode. Data modeling is a critical aspect of building an application in Honeycode. A data model is a visual representation of how data is organized and how it relates to each other. The data model defines the structure of the app's data, including tables, columns, and relationships. Here are the key steps involved in data modeling in Honeycode. First is define the data entities. The first step in data modeling is to define the data entities that the app will use. These entities are the objects that the app will work with, such as customers, products, or employees. Each entity should have a unique name and should be described in terms of its attributes. Next is create tables. After defining the data entities, the next step is to create tables that represent each entity. Each table should have a unique name and should correspond to an entity in the data model. Tables are used to store data records for each entity. The next step is to define columns once the tables are created. Columns are used to store specific types of data such as text, numbers or dates. Each column should have a unique name and should be defined in terms of its data type and any constraints that apply. Next is establishing relationships. The next step is to establish relationships between the tables. Relationships define how data in one table relates to data in another table. For example, if the app has a customer entity and an order entity, there should be a relationship between the two that links each order to a specific customer. Finally, create views. After the tables and relationships are defined, the next step is to create views that define how the app will display the data. Views are used to organize and present data in a way that is meaningful to users. Views can be created for each entity or for specific tasks such as reporting or data entry. Now we'll look at user interface design in AWS Honeycode. User interface design is a critical aspect of building an application in Honeycode. The user interface is the part of the app that users interact with and it can make or break the user experience. A well-designed UI can make the app intuitive and easy to use, while a poorly designed UI can lead to frustration and user abandonment. Here are the key steps involved in user interface design in Honeycode. First is defining user flows. The first step in UI design is to define the user flows that the app will support. User flows describe how users will interact with the app, including how they navigate between screens, how they enter data, and how they access information. Next is creating screens. After defining the user flows, the next step is to create screens for each step in the flow. Each screen should be designed to support the user task and should be easy to navigate. Screens can include input fields, buttons, and other controls that users interact with. Third is choosing design elements. Once the screens are created, the next step is to choose design elements that will make the UI visually appealing and easy to use. This can include color schemes, fonts, icons, and other visual elements. Design elements should be consistent across the app to create a cohesive user experience. Next is layout and positioning. After choosing the design elements, the next step is to lay out and position the elements on each screen. This includes arranging the input fields, buttons, and other controls in a logical and easy-to-use manner. Screens should be designed with the user's needs in mind and elements should be positioned to support the user's workflow. The last step is to test and iterate. After the screens are designed, the next step is to test the UI with users and iterate based on their feedback. User testing can help identify usability issues and areas for improvement. Iterating based on user feedback can lead to a UI that is optimized for the user's needs and preferences. Now let's talk about app security in Honeycode. App security is a critical aspect of building an application in Honeycode. It ensures that the app is protected from unauthorized access, data breaches, and other security threats. With the increasing number of security threats in the digital world, it is important to consider security throughout the entire application development lifecycle. Now let's look at some of the key steps involved in app security in Honeycode. Starting with authentication and authorization. The first step in app security is to implement authentication and authorization mechanisms. 
Authentication verifies the identity of the user, while authorization determines what actions the user can perform. In Honeycode, authentication and authorization can be implemented using built-in authentication provider or by integrating with an external provider. Next is data encryption. Data encryption is a critical aspect of app security as it protects sensitive data from unauthorized access. In Honeycode, Data encryption can be implemented using server-side encryption or client-side encryption. Server-side encryption encrypts data at rest, while client-side encryption encrypts data before it's sent to the server. Third is access control. Access control is another critical aspect of app security as it ensures that only authorized users can access the app and its data. In Honeycode, access control can be implemented using the built-in access control mechanism or by integrating with an external access control provider. Access control should be defined based on the roles and responsibilities of users. Next is auditing and logging. Auditing and logging are important aspects of app security as they enable developers to track user activity and identify security threats. In Honeycode, auditing and logging can be implemented using the built-in auditing and logging mechanisms or by integrating with an external logging provider. Logs should be monitored regularly for security threats. And finally, secure coding practices. Secure coding practices are essential for app security as they ensure that the app is developed using secure coding practices that minimize security vulnerabilities. Developers should follow the secure coding practices such as input validation, error handling, and secure communication protocols. Now let's look at some best practices for AWS Honeycode. Honeycode is a powerful tool for building custom business applications and it offers a range of features and capabilities to make app development easy and efficient. To get the most out of Honeycode, it is important to follow best practices that ensure the app is well designed, reliable and easy to use. So now let's take a look at few of those. First is plan before you build. Planning is critical for any app development project and it is especially important for Honeycode. Before you start building the app, Take the time to define the user flows, data models, and UI design. This will help you create a well-designed app that meets the user's needs. Second, use templates and sample apps. Honeycode offers a range of templates and sample apps that can help you get started quickly. These templates and sample apps can provide a framework for your app and can save you time and effort. Third, follow data modeling best practices. Data modeling is a critical aspect of app development in Honeycode, and it is important to follow best practices to ensure that the data model is well designed and efficient. Best practices for data modeling include defining clear relationships between tables, avoiding circular dependencies, and minimizing data redundancy. Next on the list is use the built-in functions and formulas. Honeycode offers a range of built-in functions and formulas that can make app development easier and more efficient. These functions and formulas can be used to automate tasks, perform calculations, and validate data. Test and iterate. Testing and iterating are important aspects of app development, and it is important to test the app thoroughly before releasing it to users. User testing can help identify usability issues and areas for improvement. Iterating based on user feedback can lead to an app that is optimized for the user's needs and preferences. Finally, use AWS services and integrations. Honeycode can be integrated with other AWS services to provide additional functionality and capabilities. Integrating Honeycode with AWS services such as Lambda, API Gateway, and S3 can provide additional flexibility and scalability. Now let's look at the comparison of AWS Honeycode with other app development platforms. Honeycode is a relatively new player in the app development platform market and there are several other app development platforms available that provide similar functionality. Here is a comparison of AWS Honeycode with some other popular app development apps. Starting with Microsoft Power Apps, Microsoft Power Apps is a popular app development platform that offers similar functionality to Honeycode. Power Apps provides a range of templates, connectors, and AI capabilities that can help developers build custom business applications quickly and easily. Power Apps also integrates with other Microsoft services such as Power BI and Teams. While Power Apps offers more advanced features than Honeycode, it can be more complex to use and may require more technical expertise. 
Next is Google App Sheet. Google App Sheet is another popular app development platform that provides similar functionality to Honeycode. App Sheet offers a range of templates and integrations with other Google services such as Sheets, Drive, and Maps. App Sheet also provides advanced features such as AI and machine learning capabilities that help automate tasks and improve app performance. Like Power Apps, App Sheet can be more complex to use than Honeycode and may require more technical expertise. Next on our list is Airtable. Airtable is a popular cloud-based database and app development platform that provides a range of features for building custom business applications. Airtable offers a range of templates and integrations with other services such as Slack and Trello. Airtable also provides advanced features such as automation and scripting capabilities that can help developers build more complex applications. While Airtable is more powerful than Honeycode, it can be more complex to use and may require more technical expertise. Finally, Salesforce App Cloud. Salesforce App Cloud is a popular app development platform that provides a range of features for building custom business applications. App Cloud offers a range of templates and integrations with other Salesforce services such as Sales Cloud and Service Cloud. App Cloud also provides advanced features such as AI and machine learning capabilities that can help automate tasks and improve app performance. While App Cloud is more powerful than Honeycode, it can be more complex to use and may require more technical expertise. In conclusion, AWS Honeycode is a powerful app development platform that offers a range of features for building custom business applications quickly and easily. Its user-friendly interface, pre-built templates, and integration with other AWS services make it an ideal tool for businesses looking to develop custom apps without requiring extensive technical expertise. Moreover, Honeycode's data modeling capabilities, user interface design features, and app security features make it a versatile and secure platform for businesses of all sizes. While there are other app development platforms available that provide similar functionality, Honeycode's unique combination of ease of use, integration, and security makes it a strong choice for businesses looking to develop custom apps. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers an AWS certification course for solutions architect certified by NSCOM and it aligns with industry standards. Through this course, you can learn all the important concepts of AWS and upon completion of the course, you will receive a NSCOM certification. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of AWS.